this stilt stone. So feel where the where the rough um, the roughest part is, and you grind on this stilt mark here, and in a circle. It's gonna be a little loud. Do it in a circle, and then feel where the smooth side is. Like right here is the smooth side. And get it in a circle until you're really happy with it. And, or until it stops cutting your finger. Sometimes you have to get in there. Sometimes, um, sometimes it's good to wet your stilt stone, stilt mark stone before you use it. And we're gonna um, go to the next one. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go to the next one. And you feel your stilt mark is right here. Take the rough end, move it up and down or in a circle, whichever you prefer. Every so often, check it. Check it with your finger. See if it needs more grinding. And then you do your smooth side. Do the smooth side until it stops cutting your finger. And the stilt mark is better than the emery board because it doesn't cut into the glaze really bad. And it makes it look makes it look and feel better than makes it look and feel smoother. Okay, we're on our last stilt mark because this one was done with a a triangular stilt with three uh, with three fingers on it. It looks like the letter Y. But what I'm gonna do for the last one, take the rough side, move it in a circle, and rub it around like so. Well, that one feels pretty smooth already. So you take your smooth side and you rub it until it um, you don't feel it cut your finger. Wow, this one turned out perfect. So let's give the other two some more tension. Rough side again. Up and down and in a circle. Move it up and down in a circle. Okay, there's a little on the edge here because it was, um, because somebody stilted it. Um, this is actually my piece, but I go to a place and um, they stilt it and bake it for me in the kiln. I think this was like fired at Kono 6, because this is a dinnerware. Take the smooth side, grind it nice and gentle until you don't feel it. Okay. We'll go back and check this one, this other one again, because I have like three stilt marks here. Okay. Take the take the rough end, the really rough end right here. Feel it with your thumb. See what end you need for the task. Move it in a, rub it up and down, and in a circle, and get in with your smooth side. Sometimes it's good to get in with the with the uh, with the uh, corner here for like if it is over the lip here you um, can use the corner and give it a nice buffing until it doesn't cut your fingers anymore it doesn't cut into your fingers and if it's to your um, to your satisfaction you're done. And thanks for watching.